Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Mankind Divided. We are heading towards the Palisade Bank over there. Trying to enter it via this um, apartment over here. I'm not sure whether it will work, but maybe it will. I doubt it actually, because there's a gap in between them. Maybe there's like a way through that apartment at the back there, but I doubt it. Anyways, we need to find some dirt on the Picus Media Corporation. Uh, in the safes or whatever they have of um, oh, the Palisade Bank in the CEO's office. She apparently keeps dirt on all kinds of high profile persons. We already saw that. And in this um, apartment, somebody has relationship problems. If you look at the pictures. And over here, by the way, that's a pretty big knife. It's almost a sword. Really nice environmental storytelling they do in this game. Alright, Palisade Bank. This actually. This, there are sewers, apparently. And a lobby. Confidential access. Looks to be like Latin in the in under, under confidential. Alright, um, one moment. Just um, one second. Alright. Going to hack. I just upgraded to level 3 hacking, but I'm not sure how many hacking goodies I have. Alright, let's also clean up the inventory a bit. Um, Dismantle. Don't need it. We are the good guy. We are non lethal. And so far possible. Gyroscopic regulator. Do I need that for something? I don't know. Let's just dismantle it. Frag grenade. Don't need it. And what the hell is that? This neuroposine. Examine. Neuroposine is a drug that controls the body's rejection response to augmentation. It operates by suppressing the buildup of glial tissue around pedo clusters, the standard human machine interface that makes all augmentations possible. Without the drug, augmentation slowly lose all functionality and cause a number of health problems for their owners. Standard doses offer one week of protection. Functionality. This item has no other functionality than its substantial monetary value. You can sell neuroposine by visiting specialty vendors such as weapons and tech merchants. Some people may also accept neuroposine as payments or as charitable to donations. Alright, for injection use only. Neuroposine created by VersaLife. Alright, interesting. Anywho, what hacking stuff do I have? I have data scan software. I have some more stuff. Here we go. Reveal. Nuke virus. And that's about it. Cleans up nicely. Um, Alright, so what do we have? We have stop warm. Those are really handy when you get uh, traced. 
Stealth software can also use that. Data scan, reveal, and nuke virus. All right, what did data scan do? It reveals any hidden data stores and their contents. And what's reveal also does that, right? Lifts the fog that hides the subnet's nodes. Yeah, then it also reveals data stores, right? All right. Anyways, we have three stop worms. That's what I wanted to know. And this is the house of Julian Bartek. Three attempts, by the way. Let's save the game before I need to redo everything. By the way, did I correctly save it? I think I did. Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. This is a hard one. Here we go. Anomaly detected. Holy Trace shit. program initiated. Oh shit! That I only have two attempts left. Uh, this one didn't go anywhere, so I really need to use this one. Anomaly detected. Oh. Trace program initiated. Right, let's hope this works. Access denied. Ah, screw it. Sorry, I was also totally um, distracted by my cat who jumped on me. Hey, Kibo. Hello. All right, let's do that again. That went totally wrong. Jim Miller is the director of Task Force 29th Century European Division, an expert marksman and former member of Australia's SCS. He leads a combined tech of intelligence gathering, analyst, and tactical assault responders from a concealed office in Prague. A direct and decisive leader, Miller is committed to his job and passionate about protecting civilians, but remains intensely private about his outs life outside the agency. Police will take out anyone causing problems in the city. You can use this to your advantage by getting someone else to shoot first. That's interesting. All right, this is quite a hard one, I must say. I can use, of course, uh, the nuke option. Maybe I will do that for the next one. All right, I want nuke. What does nuke do again? Yeah, I think you will be detected when you nuke. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Right, this should work. Come on. Access granted. Nice. All right, forward case review, tem termination, Veronica at LGS Blue Chip to Julian Bartek. F for attention of Julian Bartek, having extensively reviewed your case of alleged. By the way, sorry. Let's put that one off. It's too uh, distracting. Having extensively reviewed your case of alleged wrongful termination against the Palisade Bank, I am prepared to make an evaluation of your legal position in the event of your filing suit against them. As indicated during our first meeting, the evidence you have submitted to me is not sufficient to demonstrate that the security issues were the results the result of negligence on the part of Daniel Janicek. Rather, the current understanding of the situation presented with the available documentation and written testimony demonstrates the contrary. He has effectively not only covered his own culpability, but also created a trail of evidence very damning to yourself. A further damaging concern is the recorded evidence of your hostile reaction to Mr. Janicek and your clearly audible threats against both Masaki Ochiro and Ashani Talwar. I think Ashani Talwar is the CEO and that's the office we need to uh, uh, break into to find um, dirt on Pikes Media, our objective. 
All of this would provide substantial ammunition if this went to trial. This impl the implication remains that if you were to pursue them, they would counter sue for loss of revenue due to your elite's incompetence. The evidence they have against you, while certainly contestable, would sustain a very costly defense in civil court, which observing your current financial standing uh, and which and okay, this is a little bit of uh, grammatical uh, weird sentence. Uh, which observing your current financial standing would prove absolutely ruinous should the court not rule in your favor. Without a clear, damning piece of evidence that implicates Mr. Janicek's role in this, it is my belief that should you intend to pursue a Palisade Bank, you would almost certainly lose and with prejudice. What the hell is with prejudice? One moment. Prejudice is like an unfounded or preliminary judgment, right? A legal term with different meanings. When used in criminal... Oh, 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 oh. My cat is lying on my keyboard. Prejudice is a legal term with different meanings when used in criminal, civil or common law. In legal context, prejudice differs from the more common use of the words and thus has specific technical meaning. When a court dismisses an action, they can either do so with prejudice or without. Dismissal with prejudice means that the plaintiff cannot refile the same claim again in that court. Alright. Um, sorry, my cat was on my keyboard. Here we go. Uh, Mike Wexley, forget it. Julian, I was going to ignore that last email, but I still can't believe it. I can't be involved in this. Maybe you need to see a psychiatrist. I'm not kidding. You're starting to scare me. What Palace did to you was crap, Julian. But the man I knew before you started working there would never ask me to do this. And definitely not by using my personal email to do it. I work for Tarvas to protect the Palisades from people like you in case that irony flew too high above your head. We're friends? Sure, but that doesn't mean I'm going to suddenly smuggle you into the bank for God's sake. Let this go, Julian, please. Your plan is ridiculous anyways. The parking garage is as well guarded as anywhere else in the bank. There's so many of us patrolling down here that we even have our own security room now. Don't mess your life up more than it already is. Suck it up, speak to Ness, and move on to something new. You're a talented guy. You'll find something in Prague, I'm sure. Right, so it is all also with these maps about the uh, sewers plan and the lobby plan. Yeah, I think it pretty much hints towards uh, the parking garage as a way in. Alright, first gonna save the game again. Alright, this is a pretty hard one. I'm gonna use reveal. That really ah over here. Um uh, yeah, this one is easy. This looks to be like a pretty hard one. I have two stop worms. Um, right, let's just try it. All right, shall I nuke that one? Yes, let's nuke this one. Anomaly detected. Oh, you shit. Trace program initiated. Oh, 
Right, will we make it? Yeah, I think we will. Access granted. Nice. Pretty messy, but it works. Unlock. Right, some uh, tranquilizer darts. A gas grenade and an EMP grenade and some money. I will just leave that be. Guy, is it hard enough? See what's in here. A gyroscopic regulator. No, I'm playing as a good guy. I'm not stealing this guy. He's already as half it as it's hard enough. So let's just do act like we were never here. Down. No. All right. Somehow, I cannot put down the painting anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But whatever. There was a painting over that safe on top of it. I pushed up. Cannot push it down anymore. Oh my God! So annoying. So annoying. Man, that really is so annoying. Um, yeah, I will just open it up. Just for the fun of it. Detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Nice. Just for my hacking experience. God damn it! I want to close the door. I don't want to. Alright, I accidentally st stole from him. It was not my intention. No, I'm gonna... So annoying stuff like this. Oh. David Sharif is the founder and former CEO of Sharif Industries, the biotechnology company where Adam Jensen used to work. Sharif revitalized Detroit and tried to revolutionize the world by turning a dilapidated automotive factory into a source of cutting-edge human enhancement technology. An idealistic proponent of a mechanically enhanced mankind, Sharif lost almost everything both personally and professionally in the weeks and months following the Oak incident. You can load your weapons with armor, prisoner, AP or electric... Ah, so I annoying. do not need to remind you folks that this is the third such attack to try Krog in six months. Alright, at least we get some good hacking... Uh, Anomaly detected. Practice. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Thank you very much. Alright, now can I please even gonna save the game because stuff like this goes so often wrong. Here, this is what I mean. I am not even... Oh my god. I'm not even pointing towards those items and he automatically grabs it. It's so frustrating. This is taking me like five minutes. Starting with that stupid... Oh my god. Starting with that annoying fall down the balcony. Alright, can I please close this safe without getting anything? Ah, that's the better way to do it. Alright, very nice. So that was my mistake. I should have used the pet. 
and I'm saving the game again because these jumps are very hit or miss. Oh, oh, let's put that back. Uh, how it's supposed to be, like so. I'm not sure what the top and the bottom is. Like so. Nah, uh, actually. Like. Yeah, and if I want to do it good, I have to change this one around as well. Let's keep it all neat. There we go. By the way, this looks to be like a weak wall. No. Tried to smash through it, but it didn't work. Alright, um, let's check out that parking garage. Or maybe just walk into the bank and uh, it's probably closed, right? Yes, since 2017. However, this particular building was completed in 2024 and since then has acted as the head office. Very impressive. It has also been recognized as a heritage site. Absolutely. You're welcome to go inside and visit. Well, the lobby at least, it does remain a bank. Restricted areas are off limits. Of course. Unless I decide to open an account. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure, sir. I'm sure the receptionist will be happy to answer any questions you might have. Welcome to the Palisade Property Bank, sir. The lobby is open for visiting. The receptionist inside will be able to answer all your questions. The receptionist inside will be able to answer all your questions. Absolutely secure. Data extractors have never breached. Sir. Hackers are everywhere. Not here? Exactly. Of course, physical security is also <coughs> paramount, and Tarvas has an impeccable reputation. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yes? Formerly, yes, but so were most security companies before the incident. Why don't I schedule a meeting for you with our accounts manager? He can answer all your concerns and start the application process. Hmm, yes. Why don't we do that? Thank you. A pleasure, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts, exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense, but security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big, in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. So, this is a data haven? Well, <laughs> we don't use that term here, but yes. We archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. 
our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded, anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. Your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our saves are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized keycards to gain entry. That's all. Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The keycard also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Right. Thanks for the information. Palisade Bank, Exitive, Exclusivity, Anonymity, Security. Please see the receptionist. Our executive safes and corporate vaults future secure archiving of physical and digital data, guaranteed asset protection against data extradition, unrivaled cyber intrusion countermeasures, a top of the line automated security system. Just looking at all the different items here. And we have an ebook. Bob Page, an anatomy of a prodigy, acquisitions. Page married his long term partner, a behavioral therapist, and founded a venture capital tech incubation firm in Palo Alto, Page Industries. Initially, Silicon Valley, Val Silicon Valley tech blogs sniped that his industry was spinning on a swivel chair alone in an empty warehouse. Page actively pursued dual use technologies, reasoning that it doubles chances for a hit. After a string of investments in biotechnology, AI and nanotechnology companies, Everett advised him to buy a controlling stake in the recently New York Stock Exchange delisted pharmaceutical giant Versalife, free falling since its pre-millennial golden age. A number of even more risky acquisitions followed. Defunct genetic therapy research laboratories, failing biotechnology concerns, emergent tech startups that never emerged. It looked like another rising star was crashing to earth. Then Neuropocene happened. In 2020, Daryl Industries sold Versalife its exclusive patent on production of the anti-augmentation rejection drug every augmented person needed to survive. And company fortunes took off. Page Industries made billions. Bob Page was 31 years old. Holy shit. Slight je um, jealousy on my part. Uh, offices are restricted. Level 2 is the lobby, level 1 the executive saves. Se Are we now in level 2? Apparently. Security supervisor, account manager, corporate vaults. Alright, we need to get to the... Uh, 
top level to the offices of the CEO because uh, I need to get in her office and that's the office of Asani Tawar, CEO and find something like a dossier or an email anything they can use to incriminate Pythus I would like to know is this this whole floor ah, it's open so we have security boardroom lasers elevator stairs a lot of cameras ah there's like stairs over there And what do we have over here? Dig up dirt in the CEO's office. Yes. Are we in level 8 now? I don't understand. Does it go all the way below ground? All right, boardroom, employee lounge, monitoring center, CEO's office. That's where we need to get to. CTO office, IT services. Yeah, I'm not sure why the objective is over here. Maybe there's a person over there. Let's check it out. Security supervisor, account manager, corporate vault, elevator. Uh, this is the account manager who wasn't in. Ashani Tawar, CEO, Masako Shiro, CTO, IT Services. Yes, we need to get to the next floor. But there's, there's just stairs over here, but a ladder over there as well. Data transfer may begin whenever you wish. Um, Mr. Oshiro has also provided an executive safe in one of the vault rooms under the name that was provided. Ah, Masa. Always so mysterious. Hmm. It is my wife's name. Yes. Right. Sub-level security room has our up-to-date security password. Good. Haven't heard from mezzanine level or the corporate vault basement yet. Can you get confirmation from IT? I could but they would only be able to confirm sending out the codes. Doesn't protocol include that each hub acknowledge receiving security updates? In a perfect world, everyone would follow procedures to the letter. But this mm. isn't a perfect world. I'll see what I can find out. Right. Corporate vaults. I'm sorry, sir. The VIP vaults are only accessed by appointment. And there are no appointments scheduled. You need an appointment to access your own vault? For the corporate vaults, yes. This allows time for preloading your container into the viewing area. You also need your personalized keycard. Thanks for the information. Right, so if I can get a keycard and an appointment... What the hell is this? Cannot interact with it. Security. This is probably off limits. Yes, it's all off limits. <laughs> Security supervisor. All right. Executive boardroom. Anything here? Here we go. Alright, from Thomas Romanek, that's the account manager, Ivana Dryos. Ivana, I apologize for not telling you sooner. Yes, the code to my office was changed after the recent unpleasantness with Bartos. It is now zero. Bartos is maybe the guy that we, uh, in the apartment we were at the start of the episode who got fired. It is, uh, it, uh, we read about that, in, I think, at the ending of the previous episode. 
Uh, it is now 0831. Please tell everyone I'm running late because of how hard it is getting in and out of the city now that Ruchika station is offline. Thank you, Thomas. Alright, we got the account manager's key cards. The global leader in fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the event making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. What's going on at Palisade Bank? Rippers threats training, access code violation, client data defenses, lava wall, safety account, rippers access denied. Client supports, accounts, vault maintenance, palisades. Ah, this wall, I can break that wall over there. But do I want to do that? Where does that take me? I think that takes me into the security room. Alright, let's try that. Why not? Alright, here we go. Alright, nobody heard that, right? Maybe best to save the game. And let's quickly see this newspaper. We already read that one, pretty sure. Uh, one moment, this last text suggests that augmented terrorists upset our Prax model, augmentation licensing and relocation programs may be responsible. Right. right, restricted zone alerts. Holy shit, what's this? Holy shit. Ah, now I'm back <coughs> in the lobby all right i think there's a lot of opportunity over here and this will then probably yeah lead to the parking garage where i wanted to get in earlier I wanted to get in through the parking garage, but yeah, holy shit, this is... Electrified. I, the only thing is I need to be very careful because I don't have the jump augmentation and if I jump down here, chances are I cannot get back up anymore. be a way to turn off this electricity hey there's a elevator over here would be handy if I could use it yes if I could hack it that would be really handy I don't think I have remote hacking yet moment um, fortify nope All right what does this do
Nope. Oh, hitting the 40 minute marker. Man, time flies. Uh, let's quickly check it out. Mark Tracker. Do I need that one? Nope. Hot. Nope. Displays remaining time of target's alarm state. No, I don't mind. I don't need it. Delays the explosion timer in nearby grenades, mines, and other explosive devices. Nope. Project location of nearby walls and solid objects. Displays target's field of vision. Sees a visual representation of self-generated noises. Extends the radar detection radius. Nope, I don't need that one. I don't have a hut anyways. I need remote hacking ability. Ah, this is it, I think. No. God damn it. Alright, what to do? I'm pretty sure there was somewhere a way to Interact with things on a distance. Maybe I'm mixing it up with this uh, description. Allowing the user complete control over hacking operations without the need for any tactile device or virtual interface. But that is just... Um, yeah, for the general hacking. It's not like remote hacking. Oh, God damn it. I will just quickly jump down and I will save it if I cannot get back up I will reload uh, I will continue in the next episode guys hope you enjoyed I hope to see you in the next one for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming see you later